They say when you join the military, life changes fast. You have to say goodbye to civilian life and hello to military life. No civilian gear, no individual hairstyles, no personal possessions, regimented schedule, stricter laws with stricter punishments than civilian life, move when and where you're told, carry out orders without expressing your personal opinion. Why so strict? Well, because soldiers can't afford distraction. Soldiers can't afford the luxury of individual freedom because it distracts them from the mission. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verses 3 and 4, Paul used a military analogy to describe the Christian life. He called Christ followers good soldiers of Jesus Christ. The verse goes like this, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself or gets distracted with the affairs of this life that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. As soldiers of Jesus Christ, we too have been given a mission. But many of us are too distracted to focus on it. We get entangled with the affairs of this life, from our phones to our jobs to social media to extracurricular activities. Our lives seem to be entangled in one giant web of distractions. Disciplined soldiers don't do this. I mean, if you could see soldiers in the trenches in the midst of a battle, they're not texting their friends or catching up on Instagram. They can't afford to be distracted. There's just too much on the line. And that's Paul's point to Timothy. He wanted him to understand that in the Christian life, there's just too much on the line to get distracted. Can I encourage you this week to be a soldier, a disciplined soldier, not a distracted one? That might mean limiting your access to social media this week, or not picking up your phone in the morning until you picked up your Bible or listening more intently to the sermon at church on Sunday. Hey, whatever it may be, focus on the mission God has given you because distraction prevents us from pleasing the one who's enlisted us in the battle. Thank you for watching Beyond Sunday, where we apply God's truth to today's challenges. Have a blessed week.